My father constantly put me down as a child and belittled me, so I cut him off when I got older, now he's crying and saying how much he misses me. English is not my first language, so please ignore any mistakes I may make. When I was a child, my parents loved me the most. I was planned, expected, and cherished. We didn't have much money, but they worked a lot, and they tried their best to show their love. This never changed with my mom, obviously, she's not perfect, but she was always looking for ways to become a better person, to express love, and to learn from her mistakes. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said for my dad. Everything changed when I was 12 years old. We couldn't have a normal conversation without arguing because we never agreed on anything. When I started to disagree with him, he began to reveal his worst side. He constantly insisted that I needed to be perfect, perfect grades and perfect behavior. The only grade accepted was an A+, anything less, and he would berate me, calling me stupid, dumb, lazy, and saying I would never amount to anything. But even if I did score an A+, he would claim I had only done the bare minimum and didn't deserve any praise. During that time, I was bullied relentlessly at school because I openly showed that I liked girls more than boys. I had no friends, and people would always call me names, throw food at me, and mock my appearance. I felt unloved at both school and home, with no one by my side. I remember showing symptoms of depression since I was 9, and they only worsened as the years went by. When I was 14, I made some friends, and they invited me to a show. I was thrilled and went straight to my dad to ask for permission. His response was, since when do you have friends? Since when does anyone like you? He loved to say that no one liked me and that I was unpleasant, insinuating it was my fault for being alone. One day, he discovered I hadn't done my homework, so he printed a sheet saying so, wrote shame on it with markers, and hung it on my bedroom door. He even threatened to invite his friends over to see the paper and embarrass me further, saying that I should be as embarrassed as he was having me as his daughter. I learned to never cry or show any sign of weakness because every time he saw I was hurt, he smiled like he's accomplished something he wanted a lot. As a teenager, I did everything to get his attention, breaking curfews, picking fights with him, lying, and waiting for him to find out. I maintained good grades and tried to be the ideal daughter, but when I was on my best behavior, he wouldn't even acknowledge me. He always said I was the perfect daughter to his friends in a way that shows he did a good job raising me. He never accomplished me when I was accepted in college, but told all of his friends I was smart. To people outside, he seemed like the perfect dad who raised the perfect kid, but at home I was just lazy and stupid who would grow up to be nothing. I later learned from my therapist that is what you call a narcissist, so that's explained a lot. When I turned 20, I met my girlfriend, and we decided to live together. I left my parents' house and vowed never to speak to him again. And to be clear, my father had never really cared about my orientation, he had despised me long before that. He never attempted to reach out to me, but when I decided to cut contact, he told everyone that I was ungrateful, that I hated him, and that he was a poor abandoned father. However, no one believed him, not even my mom, sister, or his own mother and sisters. Now, four years later, I'm happily married and pursuing my second degree. However, my mom has come forward, saying that he's always crying and expressing how much he misses me. I told her that I'm open to talking to him, but only if he's willing to acknowledge his mistakes and apologize. Unfortunately, he told her that he did nothing wrong. I want to emphasize that I've been in therapy since I was 12, and it's the only thing that prevented me from ending my life. And now, just as I'm finally happy, this situation arises. Edit. I want to talk about some people saying my mom enabled him. That's the worst part I think. I've spent years hating her for that, for making me grow up alone like that, but after a lot of therapy, I've decided to forgive her. She's always trying to grow and apologize for her mistakes, and she knows how much she fails as a parent too, but I'm totally aware of her lack of attitude. I've talked to her to stop bringing him up to our conversations, and I think she finally understands. I was truly open to talk, but we will never be family or love each other, it's just too late for that. Now, I'm working on cutting my father off my life completely and forever. Update 1. First of all, I want to say thank you for all the lovely words you guys sent to me. You don't have any idea of how much this post changed me. I've never opened up about my situation like this to so many people before, and I've always felt like I was being crazy or exaggerating. My father made me believe that there's nothing wrong with his behavior and that I was just being dramatic. However, seeing how shocked you all were, now I know that I was right to be so hurt. Recently, I've decided that I wanted to write my dad a letter. I've tried talking to him many times to express how much he hurt me, but every time he cut the conversation, saying I was lying and he did nothing to me. Every attempt ended up with us screaming at each other because he refuses to let me finish one sentence without getting mad and telling me to shut up. This hurts me even more because I was silenced all my life. No one ever gave me the chance to say how I feel, and that's why I wrote the letter. In the first post, I mentioned that he wants to talk to me, but I knew that he would do the same thing as before, so I wrote a letter and left it on his desk when he wasn't home. I only visit my mom when he's not home. In that letter, I told him how I felt all my life, shared details about everything he did, and how this destroyed me. My mom told me he was devastated after reading it, and he wanted to talk to me about it, but of course, I refused. There's nothing more to talk about, and now I'm free from that agony. 
I feel so much better and relieved that I was able to spend Christmas with my mom, and his presence was irrelevant. I've spent so many special days without my mom and sister because I couldn't be in his presence without crying, and now I'm fine and happy. Thank you so much everyone.